My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha, ha, ha. Now, try my first riddle. <clears throat> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum so simple. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. Yes, it was a clown. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic puzzle. like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. Oh! <laughs> 
I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my vast intellect has been matched by your badly decomposed brain. Return at once and I shall give you your prize. You think you're so clever, don't you? Here you are, Sir Clever Clogs. I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Boing, 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 boing. 
Forth like a supernatural yo yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. Mr. Fortiske, I want to talk with you. <laughs> if this Zorak's so bad, why'd you get to go back? Why'd you of all people, Fortiske? <laughs> it should be I, Blood Monad the Skull Cleaver. When I lived, always I had a pile of slain strewn around me. You, you spend most of your time organizing and changing of the guard and playing croquet with the king. <laughs> Still, I lend you my axe. You a swing her, you a throw her. She thirsts for a slaughter as much as I. Drink deep of demon blood, my proud beauty. Oh, my God. 
But, here come I, glad to see you. That Zavik tried to force me to hand over the Shadow Artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. Aye, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. <coughs> right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarex left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. <coughs> You are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Stungard, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, NINE! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields! <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic, Herr Fortescue. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you that this is rubbish! So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! Thank <laughs> you. 
And the witch of the forest. Oh, it is you, Seth Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> Ahem. Forgive me. Just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Seth Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? <laughs> Sorry, didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back. <laughs> Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> Hark. We can hear the soldier ants approaching. Onward and meet your tiny nemesis.
Bless me, if it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely Amber. Here you are, Sir Knight. A wart-covered and cabbage-smelling old crone I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. <laughs> you have helped to free all the fairy people from the clutches of the filthy and scum. As a reward, I can grant you passage to the Hall of Heroes. I've never been there myself, but I've heard they've got a free bar. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? <laughs>